think we just both want to be heard. Y yeah. At the end of the day, you're upset because you don't feel like I'm hearing your side, and I'm upset because I feel like you aren't hearing mine. Yeah, it's a miscommunication. I don't know. I don't know how to fix it, but I won't be mad at you. I hate it. It's shitty when I'm upset with you. <laughs> it is. I, it hurts. I don't. I don't want to be mad at the person I love. No, do you? Okay. Well, then we got to figure out a better way to do this. Communicate. So that you feel heard, I feel heard, and everyone is. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say cope aesthetic, but yeah, that works too. <laughs> No, I mean, I'm I'm mad, but I'm trying not to be. Because I love you. I don't want to be angry at you. I know, but... We need to find a way to talk about these kind of things. In like a healthy, productive kind of way. Because we need to talk about them. But when we do, it just turns into like... Yeah, it turns into that. Like every single time. And it can't, because if it does, then we're just never going to talk about those hard things. And then we're just going to ignore them, and then what? Yeah, it's not a relationship. I mean, maybe to some people, but not one that I want. Yeah, I want to be able to talk to you about anything. And I want, I want to feel like I'm heard when I talk to you. And I want you to feel like you're heard when you talk to me. Yeah, and like understood and, and accepted and like... No, it's... I mean, I just sometimes feel like... As hard as we try, we just sometimes struggle to hear the other person. It's not our fault. It's just, it's hard. communication's hard. It's so hard because you have to first find the right words to say so that they can be like absorbed and then hopefully understood. Yeah, that's why I always try to get you to like pair it back to me. Like, I hate, yeah, I hate using that word too. But yeah, just like when I'm like, because doing that really helps though if we if, if i'm like hey what did i mean and you're like and you tell me what you thought i meant and then i'm like okay yeah i meant that or no i didn't mean that it helps helps create better communication yeah yeah i i i, I didn't mean for it to sound so like angry or condescending or uh, yeah i know it, it, it did it sounded flippant no it did it did sound flippant that wasn't what i wanted though i didn't want it to sound flippant i just wanted it to I was upset, I was I was like frustrated, I was annoyed, and I was just, yeah. Which, again, doesn't help a productive conversation, so that's my bad, I own that, I'm I'm sorry. But it, it, it does it does trigger me, it, it, it triggers me when it feels like, I don't know, like I'm being misunderstood, it's like, it, that's such a trigger for me. Yeah, because I, I constantly feel like, I'm like, oh my god, do I have to re-explain myself to you too? That sucks. It sucks. Yeah, because you're like, I, I know, it's like stupidly, I always, I'm like, I, and it's not fair, it's not fair for me to put that expectation on you, for you to always understand me every time, because that's such an unfair expectation to have on anyone, because I, I, I will never be understood fully all the time, I have to just like accept that, and like, that's something I have to work through. Yeah. It's the hard part about relationships, it's, it's like, we are two people with a bunch of trauma, you know? trying to make sure that our trauma doesn't affect the other person's trauma and we're just trying to like work through it together but on our own but together and it's yeah it's hard it's hard it's not easy i wouldn't call it work though it's not work yeah if you love what you do it's not work and i love you so it's not it's never work it's not easy but it's not work well, sometimes it's easy. <laughs> but moments like this, it isn't easy. It's hard. These are hard moments. These aren't, you know. If we could not have these moments, it'd be amazing. I'd love that. I'd love if, if our relationship never had any kind of, like, tough talks or moments of sadness. It's not real. No. Our relationship's perfect like that. I wish there, I wish there was one. And I wish we had it. <laughs> Yeah, but I love you, you know? I do. I love you so much. I, I, I don't want... I don't want you to walk away feeling like you did something wrong. Because you didn't. You, you 
No one did anything wrong here. That's that that is the best and the worst part of all of this. No one did anything wrong. You didn't fuck up. I didn't fuck up. Nobody fucked up. It was just miscommunication. It was just two people failing to understand the other. That happens. It happens from time to time. Yeah, but it doesn't it doesn't change how I feel about you. It doesn't mean I love you less. It just means you know, we'll get it next time. I do. I, I believe that. I really do believe that. I really hope we get it next time. I think we will. Yeah. No, I'm not angry. I'm not upset. I'm, I'm hopeful. Of course I'm hopeful. I don't even know. No, that's the worst part when you're like, that. that's what I never want to happen. That we argue for so long, we forget why we're arguing. And it's about, and it becomes just about hurt feelings. It doesn't, it's not about a thing. It's about, oh, my feelings are hurt. Your feelings are hurt. We've just hurt each other's feelings. Like that's, if that's what the arguments become, then that's terrible. Yeah, because like, I never want to hurt your feelings. I never want you to feel bad. I never, I never want to do that to you. I love you. So I'm sorry if I hurt your feelings. I'm sorry if I... I'm sorry if I hurt you. Yeah, it, I know. That's what I, wanna, that's what I want us to work on. I don't want arguments to be messy. I want them to be constructive. That's all I, that's all I want. I want them to be constructive. I don't want them to be... I don't want them to be hurtful and painful. I want them to be building towards something. Yeah. Building towards a better relationship. I want to be with you forever. I want I want this for the long haul. I really do. And one way to make sure that that works is just arguing better. Yes. Okay, then that's totally fair. If you feel like you're flooded and you feel like overwhelmed and you're like, I can't engage. I can't engage right now. Then just tell me. Be like, hey, I can't engage right now. It is too much. And, I'm, and I'll be like, okay. And yeah, vice versa. If I feel like, hey, this is too much. I can't engage. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling lost here. Then I'll I'll let you know. Because when we if we argue when the other person feels lost, there's no sense in doing that. Then that, that's just that's just causing damage. It is because if you're not even like if you're just trying to keep your head above water and you're not even present, then like nothing's gonna stick. And you, all the, anything I say to you is might as well just be saying it to the air because it's not like you're gonna understand it. No, not not because you don't want to. It's just because it's like. God, when you're um, when you're emotionally like overwhelmed and overloaded, like you just don't take anything in. You just feel like you're you're just trying to breathe. You're just trying to catch your breath. Yeah. Yeah, I would, I would never fall to you. Never, ever, 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 ever. If you feel like, oh my god, I can't. I, I need a moment. I'll be like, okay, yeah, of course. Because it doesn't matter what we're arguing about. Like, what's more important is you. There's nothing. There's nothing so important. That it over like overshadows your importance. And I, I don't want there to be anything that overshadows your importance. Yeah. I mean that. I love you too. I'm sorry. This was such a stupid argument. This was like, yeah, it was just such a No, I know. I'm just I I feel dumb. I feel dumb. I'm sorry. I I misread. I misread what you were saying and I, I overreacted. Yeah, no, no, I know. Two, two to tango, but... Yeah, I'm sorry. I know. I love you, too. I do feel better. Yeah. <laughs> See, this is how we should argue. Just like... Because this isn't an argument. This is a conversation. And it just feels different, doesn't it? It feels constructive. It feels like two people talking and like no one's raising their voice. No one's getting mad. We're just hearing each other out because that's all we really need to do. That's all an argument is, is two people with different viewpoints who are just trying to be heard and understood. And if we try our hardest to hear and understand the other, then arguments won't be so bad. At least I hope so. Yeah. That's also very true. I Yeah, I agree. I think... Yeah, I agree. I think that's the worst thing you can do. Well, like, say that, like, 
or assume you know what the other person's feeling or thinking or doing. Like, I, I think, yeah, that, that that's a killer. I should never assume for you and you should never assume for me. And I'm like, I know you feel like is probably the worst thing you can say. Cause you, you don't, you, you think you know what you feel like. Yeah. Um, I can't remember who said it. There was this, um, yes, she said that, um, the best way in an argument to help like smooth it out is to use, I want phrases. Like, I want us to spend more time together, or I want, like talk about like what your wants and needs are. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Or I'm I'm afraid. Using I'm afraid is also really good. Like, I'm afraid that if we don't have dinner together, we're going to drift further apart. So that's why I feel like it's always so important that we at least have one meal where we're sitting down together because it, I feel like it binds us together as a couple, you know? So like when we can't have dinner together, I am afraid or I feel not lost, but I feel maybe lost. Yeah. Maybe I, I feel lost. I feel like I'm losing you in the relationship, even though that's not true. It just, it's just how I feel. Yeah. Cause then, cause then I'm coming from a place of vulnerability and I'm coming from a place of like, I'm like showing you, Hey, I, I we're like, yeah, it's like, it's like rolling. It's not rolling over necessarily, but it's being like, Hey, this is the vulnerable part of me. I'm showing it to you as like a, a sign of like, Hey, this is a safe space for us to both be vulnerable. And, um, yeah, like lead by example, I guess. Cause a lot of it is coming from fear. Like, yeah, a hundred percent. It has like fear has to play a role in it. Cause you, when, when you get big, big reactions, big emotions, like it comes from, it come from a lot of different places, but I guess in an argument, it can either come from fear or anger. And I feel like most of our, our, our disagreements come from a place of fear. Like we're afraid of like losing the other or hurting the other or yeah, like all that kind of stuff. Yeah. I don't, I don't want to come from a place of fear. I want to come from a place of like love and understanding. So I'm going to, I, I, it, I mean, it's going to be something I really want to try to work on because how we communicate when we're disagreeing, I think is like the most critical stuff because it can so easily become memories that are just like so negative, but I don't want this to be, I don't want to make a bunch of bad memories with you, you know? Yeah, I agree. Yeah, we are good. Of course you can. Come here. I got you. I love you, baby. No matter what. We can argue a billion times, but I'll still love you. Yeah. Always, baby.